Hey guys, in this video we're going to look at how you can connect your UChat account with your course account and use the bot models you prepare in your course platform with UChat. So as you can see, I'm on the dashboard of my workspace. From here, I need to go to the integration section and then to course under the artificial intelligence one. So let's go to course. And here you can see that I need two things here. The first would be the API key. The other would be the default bot ID. Uh, let's first fetch the API key. Now I will go to my course account. So whenever you log in into your course account, uh, this is the home, uh, home page that you will see. From here, uh, on the left side menu, go all the way down till you see course API. Click on that. Once you click on this, click on the authorization at the top. As you can see, I already have one API key, but let's create uh, another one. So add token. And from here, let's name it test, uh, test two. And you need to set up an expiration time from this. Let's set up, let's make it permanent. It's okay, it's completely fine and uh, here you can just click on all uh, as um, or if you want to have like a specified team space and this team space is basically the bot or the workspace or a team group that you have with with or where all your bot models reside uh, for the purpose of this video i'm since i only have one i can i'm just going to click on all and yeah. here you need to actually uh, give the permissions all of these permissions as all of these are required by you chat so do give all of these once done make sure everything's perfectly fine and then you can click on confirm here you can click on the copy icon make sure that you have copied it and then go back to you chat and then paste the key here as you can see the key has been pasted the next thing we need is the default bot ID. To get the default bot ID, go back to your home page. And here on the left menu, you will see all your workspaces. Currently, I only have one workspace, which is my personal workspace inside course. So I'm just going to click on that one. Once you click on that, you will see all your bot models, right? So I only have one, which is like my default bot ID um so we're just going to use that one so i'm just going to click on this one okay now once you click on this wait for it to load and once it's loaded what i want you to do is i want you to go to the search bar at the top of your browser and copy the last id that you see after the bot so in the url bot slash and then the set of integers you need to copy this and then go back and then save here okay so api key from the api key and the last these last uh, these last um, set of integers copy those back to your user now before you can continue there's one more little step that you need to do so once you are inside click on publish and it's going to take you to another screen now here you need to make sure that the api access is enabled on your bot when you are on this screen i want you to go down and tick the bot as api option otherwise if you do not take it the api will not work so make sure that this is clicked once this is clicked take off enabled go and click on publish and once you see that the publication submitted make sure that you have bot as api enabled you can go back to your uchat account go back to your uchat workspace click on save and now everything should connect perfectly okay you can see that the connection has been verified and the data has been saved now let's use course let's i'm inside my workspace now i'm just going to refresh it just in case um just in case if the integration fails so now i refresh it now you can 
you can use the course action by going into the action block then to integrations and then click on course and here course only really has two options here so create chat completion or clear remember chat history now then one thing you need to note here is the clear remember chat history the same rules apply on course um, as well as all other platforms where the json would be of 20k characters and once that limit is reached we will uh, truncate it and the last uh, response would be uh, cut off right so all, all all those rules apply as the same now let's uh, get a response so create chat completion i'm going to click on that here uh, you can add a prompt so let's say hey how are you can you tell me a bit about yourself and if you want to remember chat history you can i really don't at the moment conversation id is really optional if you want to really reply to a very specific user right now i just need a response so that's fine bot id you can actually uh, use a specific bot model right now i only have default so i'm just leaving it as empty now let's click on test request and i should receive a set of replies from the ai itself as you can see the assistant has given us all these answers depending on the type and you can map these uh, to your own liking and have the user interact with them and with that being said that's all for this video if you have any questions uh, queries make sure that you comment down below and i'll be happy to answer thank you